Hello gamers, Matt Lemke here with another box breaking and today we're going to take a look at Project Pandora Grim Cargo. It's an elite force, a hidden foe, and a secret prize. So we're going to bust this open, we're going to take a look at the bot back real quick. Um, it looks like it has Veermin and Corporation models in it. It's for two players. Um, should be about 15 to 16 minutes long and it has everything in it you need to play the game. Uh, looks like that it's another tile game and inside uh, we're going to take a look we're going to probably start with the tiles if it's anything like Dwarven of the Hold I doubt that there's a set of quick start rules you've got your two bags of figures a bunch of dice Let's see how loaded they are. The last set of magic dice I had were pretty loaded. Uh, these are pretty balanced, actually. Only three sixes, no five. Oh, one five. Yeah, it's pretty balanced. Uh, the rule book, which we'll start there. Well, on the back, oh, it has game values. That's good. Nice handy sheet. Um, on the front, it has a list of all the counters and tokens. And the game overview, the models, preparing to play, how to set up the game. And it gets you right into playing the game. Apparently, uh, you don't need a table of contents with this book because I don't see one. And by page two, you're already into the rules, shooting, fighting, um, and then into special rules. And by page 15, by page 13, no, yep, by page 13, you're into the scenarios and it's a 21 page book. So, <clears throat> it pretty much gets you right into the game. They don't jerk you around, they just get you started. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tiles and see what's involved in them. Uh, I don't know what most of these mean yet, but there is a quick chart. Effectively, it's a quick chart reference on the, the very inside of the cover. And again, these are all pop-out. Um, you get your radiation ones, uh, some with X's, so they probably have you know some really cool special meaning. And we have uh, the tiles of what looks like either an underground laboratory or a spaceship and these all pop out uh, so you can actually write your own homebrew scenarios who knows maybe you know I have to check it out maybe Mantic has uh, some space for that on their website writing your own scenarios uh, using some of their other Warpath figures that they have these are the Veer Min and we're going to take a, a quick look and we're going to zoom in on some of these pieces this is, uh, I'm not sure what this piece is, but we're going to zoom in. It kind of looks like it's a, it's not a headpiece, an extended, holy cows, that's an arm. How is that even, wow, these guys are beastly. No, that's not an arm. Or is it? Well, I'll figure that out. We're going to do an assembly video here in a minute or two. Well, not today. In the next seven days. But, uh, as you can see, I mean, the, the rats are kind of... I don't want to use this word, but for, I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. It's not, it's not the right word to use. But the rats, in comparison to some of the other models that Manthing makes, are kind of gaudy. And I kind of think that was um, an artistic thing that they did. Because they clearly could have had greater detail on them, but by doing, doing them this way, it forces you to kind of paint them dirty, and it gives them a dirtier, grungier look that makes you feel like, um, yeah, they're clearly vermin, or veermen, however you wish to say it. Looks like somebody's got a flamethrower. I'm going to guess that 
Well, I'm not going to guess anything. I'm just going to wait to figure it all out. Because, oh, look at this red hand. Look at that. See, the detail is where it counts. It's on the head. Check that out. And then you have their tails, some more heads, and the other arms. Now we're going to take a look at the corporation models. And you may, maybe right away you'll be able to see what I'm talking about with the difference in detail and how they artistically designed their Veer Min to look uglier or gaudier. I mean, they're still cool minis, but they just don't, see, they don't boast the same quality that, uh, quality's the wrong word, they don't, they don't boast the same look. They're, they clearly have a lot of detail and stuff, but they have a larger, clumsier look to them. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And that's good, because I think that's what they were trying to do. Uh, these guys are a corporate, these are corporate troops, or the enforcers. It looks like they all have the basic rifles, and here's a, a look at three of the heads that these guys have. Here's their bodies. Here is, uh, I'm going to say this is a commander type of figure, because it looks like he's got a mechanical robotic arm fist here. And I'm going to open that. Make sure you can see that. And he's kneeling down because he's different from everybody else. So he's kneeling down. He's got two head options. One, one with the face. I think one is with a helmet. Oh, they're both with the face. And here's that mechanical fist, robotic fist I was talking about. A little bit of clean up there, but overall the models are really clean. And then they have a bag with a whole bunch of arms for you to use. So real quick, I'll, I'll line up all the figures so you can see the figures. And, we'll and here's a complete view of what you get when you purchase the Project Pandora box set from Mantic Games. Thank you for watching. This is Matt Lemke with 3Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com, and have a good day.